And on to our top story this morning, sensation details that have emerged as Republic TV has accessed these details of a pamphlet that was recovered from Sharjeel Imam's laptop during the probe that continues. As the Delhi police is now looking into this matter, this very pamphlet that has a note that clearly calls for mobilization of Muslims to disrupt streets of New Delhi to gain international media attention. Not just this, the pamphlet that calls for causing chakka jam in the national capital. Republic had exposed all these details first, viewers, when it was your channel that had stung this very man, Sharjeel Imam, and all these details that have now been confirmed because this was the very pamphlet that was doing the rounds that had been released by Sharjeel Imam. To take you through the operative parts, it clearly says that this law, that is the Citizenship Amendment Act, is unconstitutional and intends to dis enfranchise Muslims and put them in detention camps. It started in Assam and will follow elsewhere. Muslims across India should reject NRC and CAB, not just this. It also reads that thousands of Muslim youths are ready to disrupt Delhi, which will give international media attention to our issue. The students of Jamia Milia Islamia have given a protest call for 3 p.m. and request everyone to join the protest in large numbers and plan for a disruptive chakka jam accordingly. So like you can see, this was the pamphlet that was doing the rounds. This was the pamphlet that was released by Sharjeel Imam and group as they continued with the protest. And remember, these are the exact same details that had been revealed when Sharjeel Imam was stung by your channel, where he had gone on to openly state that this entire protests were orchestrated, they were not organic. The attempt was to garner international media attention and most importantly, to take the De city of Delhi in under ransom and have blockades in the national capital. Shavan Sen, our senior news editor, now joining us live on this broadcast. Shavan, it can't get clearer than this and this is a man who has openly admitted in front of the cops as well that he had called for India to be an Islamic state. He is highly radicalized and all these attempts that he's making in this direction, whether it is about holding these protests, the intent is very clear to gain international media attention and to hold the city of Delhi under ransom. And he's not just doing this in Delhi, but across India. That was his plan. Well, in fact, Suresha, this was basically the misinformation campaign that Sharjeel Imam had essentially embarked on. Clearly, this particular pamphlet, which has now been recovered by Delhi Police's a special cell from Sharjeel Imam's uh, laptop, indicates that this is what Sharjeel Imam wanted to do. First, misinform the people when he's basically talking about the Citizenship Amendment Bill, which he says that this was an attempt made by the government to disenfranchise the Muslim community. And not just that, also saying that the Muslim community has basically been persecuted. And it is time that the Muslims basically speak in one voice, raising issues as far as not just about a CAB, but also as far as Article 370 is concerned, and, and also the Ayodhya verdict. Remember, this, all of this basically for, comes in uh, from the line that the Popular Front of India has also taken, given the fact that the Popular Front of India had the same issues uh, that was raised just before the violence that spread out uh, in the country as far as CAB is concerned. As far as Shaji Imam's entire investigation is concerned, uh, so it's important to point out here, it does appear at this point in time that he does profess a, a radical left ideology, and this is what we have been told by our sources within Delhi Police, that what is very clear is that the intention as far as these mm. protests and as far as his entire planning is concerned, the mm. only idea was to basically try and misinform people. Absolutely, Shavan, and it can't get clearer than that, that this man was using CAA and NRC as a tool to spread hate, to instigate minorities. His intent, that is completely different, and this is not about CAA and NRC in any which way. For the moment, Shavan, thank you for joining us. We'll continue to keep our focus on the story.